what's good crypto i'm your host marvin here to bring you a daily scoop on everything going on in crypto we are seeing some major moves by bitcoin this morning and leaving the alts behind so should you be worried should you be selling your altcoins or should you just sit patient and understand that this is all a part of the great cycle of bitcoin so we're going to take a look at bitcoin why is bitcoin pumping and what to be looking forward to because there's so much excitement going on in crypto right now so if you're into that, make sure to tune in Monday through Friday because we come here to educate ourselves when it comes to investing in crypto for life changing wealth. None of this is financial advice as I'm not a financial advisor. This is all pure entertainment. And if you want to connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, please do so at Media by Marvin. I love to jam with you all and just shoot the S word. I can't really swear. But let's jump in. Let's take a look at uh, first off, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index is currently sitting at a 68. We are at greed. Following yesterday's 59, greed people are starting to FOMO in. People are starting to see what's going on. People are starting to trust that Bitcoin may have more room to run and they don't want to miss out on what they missed out earlier this year or last year. Yesterday we were at 59. Last week we were at Extreme Fear at 24. So last week would have been a great time to buy. I think this is when we're at 41,000, 40,000. So if you bought in, you're looking at a 30% increase in just a week from those gains. Um, you know, over the last year, you can see that we were jumping up earlier this year in greed and then the summer and during the summer lull. We're at 24, we were covering all this this summer um, when Bitcoin was really at its lows and then it blasted off. And once it got into, you know, the 48,000, 50,000 this August, um, we actually got up to 79 in, in the extreme greed area, or just greed. I forget if 79 is just greed. I think it's greed. Um, that was when we hit 53,000, and then we had the liquidation, the Evergrande FUD, we had the SEC FUD, uh, just a lot of stuff. So right now, probably not the best time to buy. I mean, if you are looking to make gains, maybe look at all coins. Bitcoin, you can definitely still make gains. Um, you might get 2x from here. We may get to 150,000 Bitcoin. So if you buy 10,000, you're looking at, you know, 30,000, which why would you complain about that first off? But it's not as good as if you bought in maybe at 30 or 35 or 40,000. Uh, but still, you know, depend. you have to consider what your long term outlook is um, and just keep keep an eye on that and, you know, make sure you're not jumping in without understanding the market you know take some time to understand it before you jump in because the last thing i want is someone to toss in 10 grand bitcoin goes down five percent they don't understand the volatility is the price of admission for uh making gains in crypto um and you have to have a very tough stomach like i'm actually thinking about after this and during the bear market maybe going to stocks because i figured if i can diamond hand the crap out of uh, crypto i could diamond hand any kind of stock but we'll see Let's take a look at crypto right now. Right now, let me just refresh. Bitcoin is at about 53,800. Uh, we actually touched at $55,000 Bitcoin this morning. Uh, we had a major push up. Things are starting to look very, very green. All coins are lagging a little bit. Right now, the crypto market is sitting at 2.29 trillion. We're not too far from all time highs, I believe. Let's take a look uh, at the market cap. From this year um, we can see that this May we were at 2.45 trillion and right now we are at 2.27 trillion so we're not too far what's a hun couple hundred billion um, or yeah hundred billion we're not too far away but everything is looking good Bitcoin is holding 53,000 looking very very strong we're up 27% on the week 7% on the day Ethereum running up at 3570 um, it actually touched $3,600 this morning. Binance can of $435. And you can see all coins are lagging behind. Solana's down on the week uh, in the last day, too. It's down 7% at $157. Uh, we see Dogecoin up at $0.25, cents, uh, 5% on the day. Uh, that had a major run-up or a bit of a run-up with uh, Shiba. Um, but overall, you can see that alts are bleeding a bit. A lot of money is being to tossed into Bitcoin right now. It takes a lot of money and you can see the rotation happening as we speak. Uh, things up on the day, Bitcoin gold really up. I think that's because Bitcoin is up. Since Bitcoin is up, you see these other ones. Bitcoin cash is up, Bitcoin gold is up, Shiba is up 40% on the day, 235% on the week, which is pretty crazy. 
Um, and if we go down, some other random ones, Hollow Coin, Celsius, Monero, Doge, um, Dash, Ethereum is up, um, but uh, not a lot of crazy positivity. You know, we see Engine Coin 2% up. Um, a lot of things down in the low, like 7 to 2% increases right now. Again, when Bitcoin runs, it sucks up the volume. Let's take a look at the daily, or let's take a look at the trading view for Bitcoin. Right now, Bitcoin is trading at 53,864. If we pull up the 30 minute chart, we can see we waked up to 55,000. We had this major run up from 51,000, and now we are consolidating. We, have, we are having a pullback. Earlier this morning, I woke up around 3 a.m. I saw that Bitcoin was down at about 50,500. So if you had any bids or buying any Bitcoin down there, uh, awesome. But we had a bit of a pullback and then we blasted on up. Awesome to see that Bitcoin is breaking out of this range. We developed a new local high, which is looking fantastic. Breaking through the previous resistance of 52,600, basically 53,000. And that's very important because now we're breaking out of this macro downtrend. So Bitcoin is looking fantastic. And if we pull it up on the weekly, let's take a look. Bitcoin is looking ultra, ultra bullish. This, these green engulfing candles on the weekly are looking fantastic. And if Bitcoin can continue to hold this for the rest of the week, we still have about four more days to close the weekly. If we can close over 53,000, that would be insanely bullish. But don't be surprised if we do see a healthy pullback. We will see. We will see for the rest of the week. It's very, very exciting. But why is Bitcoin going up? Well, Pintoshi actually shared this recently this morning. Um, ETF, ETF, ETF. Love the view of whales trying to take all your Bitcoin. Barry Shilbert, Bitcoin knows something. People are obviously FOMOing. And of course, October has become a meme now. Everyone knows it's Pumptober. Um, and it's, it's been a great month, you know, stocks going down and all. But there's been a lot of rumors and speculation that this month we may see a Bitcoin futures ETF and possibly an announcement of an ETF uh, to be announced either this month or next month to be launched in February. A lot of people are saying this will be an extended or a lengthened cycle where we see Bitcoin rally for the next six months until February or March until the release of the ETF. And then we could see a sell the news event, but we will see uh, none of that is, um, you know, has been announced. This is all news, but could we see a huge announcement and just tear things apart? Anything is possible in crypto. Anything is possible in crypto. But we'll, we'll see what's going on. Other news. Um, this is Rev Capital. He shared this this morning. Bitcoin investors are now clearly fearful about missing out on the second part of the cycle. The FOMO. The fear has more than the fear of missing out. And FOMO is what propels price into an exponential run up. So people are starting to notice this, turn heads, and people don't want to miss out. Crazy stuff. Also, I also want to talk about this. I'm getting into NFTs, specifically VV, digital collectibles. I have been doing my research on VV, and personally, I haven't bought an NFT yet. But from what my research has done and what I personally enjoy, I love Marvel. I love superheroes. And if you're going to buy an NFT, you should buy something that you just personally love something that you're a fan of, whether it's a specific artist, type of art. And I personally think that Marvel has a huge community, me being a part of it. And when you combine community and scarcity with the limited editions, the ultra rares, the secret rares, all that, I think it just makes the perfect, like it just is the perfect mix of community and scarcity where this could be huge in the future. And Marvel's starting to share more and more VV. Vivi's the only one that has exclusive licensing to Marvel, DC, Superman, Star Trek, Back to the Future, uh, 007, you name it. I think this can be huge. I think that the Marvel community and the fandom is so huge. And as NFTs continue to get more and more popular, this is going to be incredible. And they only started doing like comic books in August. So it's still insanely early. So I'm going to start collecting Marvel NFTs. We just had the recent uh, release of uh, the Watcher and the Fantastic Four with the first appearance. Uh, this week we have um, the Spider-Man, uh, 
what's it called statue being released this week it's a premium digital statue um, with two different variants of peter parker or ben riley as peter parker we have the 007 no time to die i'm personally not going to buy that because i don't really care for 007 uh, again i want to buy things that i'm personally a fan of also later this week they're also going to be doing i believe thanos um, as a NFT, they're going to do some of the comics. Um, yep, we're doing Thanos, Daredevil, which I'm a huge fan of. So I'm going to be collecting those comics. Hopefully I can uh, pull out some uh, secret rares and see some good stuff there. But I think VV is going to be huge. And I'm going to cover them more here. If you don't know, VV is through um, the Akomi token. So Akomi owns uh, VV. So I own Akomi personally. I'm invested in them. And I bought and downloaded the VV official app. Super easy to buy the gems. Super easy to be a part of this stuff. And I'm really excited to get my hands on some VV comics. Let me know if you're in NFTs. Let me know what you think. But I think that I'm going to definitely be covering more VV. And see, show you guys what I'm able to get um, from these drops. So stay tuned. Um, but yeah, this week we have Mighty Marvel Captain Carter. We have um, the Spider-Man. We have Daredevil and Thanos really exciting stuff i'm i wish i got in just a week or two before because they had the venom and carnage and i would have loved to get my hands on that but again this is just the beginning guys i'll see you guys tomorrow stay tuned peace out everyone